In order to find a book in the library, you'll have to have its call number. A call number looks like this. If you've ever looked for a book in the school or a public library, you've used call numbers before. But call numbers in a university library look a little bit different. This is because they're made up of a combination of numbers and letters. Don't worry if you don't understand what they mean, you just need to know how to read them. But wait, what the heck is a call number? A call number is like an address for a book. It tells you where that book lives on the shelf. Books are found in different locations in the libraries, depending on their call number. This is why you have to write down the call number before you go searching for a book. You can find the locations of particular books using the book locator, found online or at the help desk. And before you ask, yes, the way you read the call number is important. You should always be reading from left to right. All right, all right, enough with the background information. Let's find this book. The first thing you'll do is to go to the section of the library where the H's are shelved. Then you'll read the first section of the call number in alphabetical order. This means you'll want to go down the row of shelves until you find the HQs. The second part should be read as a whole number. So you'll search this section for books with HQ 1000. Then you'll look for books that have HQ 1090. Once you've found these books, you'll look in this section for books that have the number HQ 1090.7. I know what you're thinking. This is taking forever, but I swear, these last parts are important. Now you'll read the third section alphabetically and then numerically. Once you've found the HQ 1090.7 books, you'll look for ones that have an HQ 1090.7.G7. Once you find those books, Look for ones that have an HQ 1090.7.G7 T66. There may be a few books with this combination, so you'll want to pay attention to the last section. It's the year of the book's publication and should be read numerically. Look for the book published in 2005. Phew, that took a while, but here it is. Always double check the title and the call number to make sure that you grab the right book. And don't worry, with practice it will become easier to read these numbers and soon you'll be zipping all over the stacks. Don't forget, you can always double check with the signage in the library or ask a member of the library staff if you need help. We're here for you.